When it comes to engines, we all know that bigger is better. And throughout history, the need for bigger and more powerful engines created some of the world's most awe-inspiring designs ever seen. Some of which evolved into incredibly powerful engines that have numbers that boggle the imagination. Ever wondered what powers the biggest planes, trains, and automobiles? From huge jet engines, rockets, and even the biggest ship engine you'll ever see. Check out and enjoy these 10 biggest engines of all time. World's Most Powerful Turbofan Engine You're looking at the GE90 engine which debuted back in 1995 aboard a British Airways 777 passenger jet. Not only is it the world's most powerful turbofan engine ever built, but it was commercial aviation's first ever engine to utilize carbon fiber composite fan blades. Early models of the engine produced outputs of 74,000 and 94,000 pounds of thrust. But GE continued to improve on the GE90 design with larger variants, the 110B and the 115B, which were exclusively built for Boeing's largest 777 aircraft. The composite fan blades on this monster jet engine measure more than 4 feet long, but each one weighs less than 50 pounds. Each blade is made of a combination of carbon fiber and a toughened epoxy matrix that gives it double the strength at one-third less the weight than titanium, with each engine having 21 blades. Each GE90 weighs 18,298 pounds and is 18 feet long and 11.25 feet in diameter. And boy, we're not kidding when we say this engine is powerful. During certification testing done in 2002, a GE90 115B engine set a world record by producing a whopping 127,000 pounds of thrust. Not only that, but the engine showed its true reliability by running 60 straight hours at triple redline conditions, maximum fan speed, core speed, and exhaust gas temperature without failing. GE9X, the world's largest jet engine. The GE90 has stood as the largest and most powerful jet engine for some time. And while it is still the most powerful, there is another jet engine that recently entered the testing phase that is even bigger. This is the GE9X, and it is the biggest turbine engine in the world and is nearly as wide as a Boeing 737 fuselage. The engine is destined to power the Boeing 777X and uses the same carbon fiber composite technology of the GE90 with the fan stretching 11.1 feet in diameter but having only 14 composite blades. The engine is tucked into a 14 and a half foot nacelle and is so big that it needs to be specially mounted on the wing to allow for enough ground clearance. Not only that, but in preparation for the flight, GE had to remove 6-foot wing extensions from the 747 test plane to reduce the wingspan to just over 195 feet, stiffening the wing to support the weight of this giant engine. The GE9X is in the 100,000-pound thrust class, and even though it's bigger than the GE90, the latter still holds that most powerful jet engine record. Largest Mass-Produced Aviation Piston Engine Aircraft piston engines are mostly a relic from the past since jet engines have taken over. But Pratt & Whitney was known for having the most mass-produced engine, which at the time was the largest and most complicated piston engine produced in mass quantity in the United States. The engine had 28 cylinders, which were in four rows of seven cylinders each, and they are arranged in a spiral for better cooling. It was called the R4360 and was known by its commercial designation as the Wasp Major. The radial engine mainly powered large American military aircraft including the Boeing C-97, the Douglas C-124, the Fairchild C-119 transports along with the Boeing B-50 and consolidated B-36 bombers. The Wasp Major was on so many military aircraft that it's not surprising that it was mass-produced. Early versions of the engine produced around 3,000 horsepower, but later models ended up producing 4,300 horsepower. But jet engines would come along and make radial piston engines obsolete. The largest radial aero engine. The Lycoming XR7755 was the largest piston aircraft engine ever built in the United States. It had 36 cylinders, which totaled around 127 liters of displacement. Keep in mind, most car engines never get past 3.0 liters, and you'll understand just how big this engine was. The XR7755 had its first run in 1944 and it put out 5,000 horsepower, which was incredible during the time. The interesting thing about this engine was that it was originally intended to be used in a European bomber, the Convair B-36. The resulting design used nine banks of four cylinders each, which were arranged around a central crankshaft, with each cylinder bank at a 40-degree angle to each adjacent bank. This formed the four-row radial engine, 
However, unlike most radial engines, which were arranged in a spiral to allow air to cool the engine, the R7755 was water-cooled, and each of the cylinder heads in a bank was in line with a cooling jacket. But the original XR7755-1 design would have to drive a single propeller, and even on the largest aircraft, the propeller needed to absorb the power would have had to be ridiculously large. By the time Lycoming had things looking good, the US Air Force had lost all interest in piston designs due to the introduction of jet engines, and only two of these engines were ever produced. The Largest Steam Locomotive Engine Moving on from planes to trains, the Union Pacific Railroad's 4000 class, better known as the Big Boy, is an articulated 4884 simple expansion steam locomotive which was built between 1941 to 1944. It was specifically designed for heavy and fast wartime freight duty on the Union Pacific's mainline between Cheyenne, Wyoming and Salt Lake City, Utah. There were 25 big boys in all that served numbered UP number 4000 to 4024. It was during World War II in the 1940s that railroads in the US were in dire need of larger steam locomotives to deliver long and heavy trains, and the big boy was the locomotive built for the job. The Big Boy had a wheelbase of 72 feet and a total length of around 85 feet long, making it one of the longest and largest steam locomotives ever built. Tractive effort was just over 135,000 pounds of force, making them truly powerful machines. These locomotives stayed in service until 1959, when diesel engines were becoming more popular. Largest Diesel Engine Speaking of diesel engines, we move on to the BMW 2000. And this thing is a giant of a diesel engine. Installed in HC Orsted Power Station in Denmark, it is so big that the building it is in had to be built around it. The BMW 2000 is a double-acting two-stroke engine that was put into operation back in 1933. And for more than 30 years, it stood as the world's largest diesel engine and was designed to supply power to the capital of Copenhagen at times when the electricity grid was under the most pressure. The engine measures 80 feet long, 41 feet tall, and weighs a massive 1,400 tons, with the crankshaft weighing 140 tons by itself. Even though it's huge, it has only 8 cylinders, but consumes 40 tons of lubricating oil. No displacement figure is available, but the engine is said to be capable of producing 22,500 base horsepower. The engine ran for 30 years until in the late 60s, and in 2004 it was disconnected from the electrical grid. However, the engine is still started on the first and third Saturday of every month and on special occasions. So, if you want to see this one in action, head over to Denmark and let us know if you've seen this one in person. The Largest Industrial Turbine Engine There are lots of really big industrial engines out there, and some of the biggest industrial turbines are designed for use in nuclear power stations converting steam into electricity. Enter the GE1750 MWE Arabelle Turbine Generator. GE builds these massive steam turbines that put out 700 to 1,900 megawatts in 50 and 60 hertz cycles, and they can be adapted to any heatsink conditions. And there is a reason these are used in many nuclear power plants around the world. At the end of 2018, GE's Arabelle met the conditions for commercial operation at Taishan Nuclear Power Plant in Guangdong Province in China. It now delivers 1,750 megawatts of CO2-free energy, which is enough to power 2 million homes. In fact, the steam turbine in Taishan holds the world record for being the largest industrial turbine engine at 236 feet long. That's comparable to an A380 Airbus with its four modules. And talk about reliability! The Arabelle steam engines have demonstrated a reliability rate of 99.96% for more than 400,000 operating hours. The Largest Rocket Engine Standing at 363 feet tall and measuring 33 feet in diameter, and having a total mass of 6.5 million pounds. The Saturn V rocket was the biggest rocket ever made in the world. Today it remains the tallest, heaviest, and most powerful rocket brought into operational status. Because of this, it also holds the heaviest and largest payload capacity taken into low Earth orbit, which was 310,000 pounds. Many companies and great minds came together on this one, including Werner von Braun and Arthur Rudolph at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Boeing, North American Aviation, Douglas Aircraft Company, and IBM were the lead contractors. The rocket's first stage had a power output of 10,200,000 pounds-feet of thrust, 
with a second stage producing 3,160,000 pounds of thrust and a final orbital insertion stage of 360,000 pounds feet of thrust. To date, this Saturn V rocket remains the only launch vehicle to carry humans past low Earth orbit. And if you're curious about project cost, it cost $6.4 billion by the time this program was over and cost $185 million for a single launch. The largest car engine of all time. By now, many of you are probably wondering what the largest car engine of all time is. That would be the Fiat S76, which was later renamed the Fiat 300 HP record because it was specifically designed to beat the land speed record which was, at the time, held by Blitzen Benz. It was a four-cylinder engine that had a displacement of 1,720 inches. That's around 28 liters, and it produced 286 horsepower at 1,900 RPM, which was insane considering the year of its design. The car it was put in was also known as the Beast of Turin, and two of the cars were built. One of these was sold to the Russian prince Boris Salkhanov in 1911, and it ended up in Australia where it crashed, and the second one was kept by Fiat and was scrapped in 1920. Vyartsela Zutzer RTA 96C If you've not seen the engines that power some of the largest ships in the world, then we introduce you to the finished Vyartsela Zutzer RTA 96C. It is the largest reciprocating engine in the world and is capable of producing 108,920 base horsepower. In fact, it's so big that just the crankshaft in this engine weighs a massive 300 tons. Because of its sheer size, the engine runs only at 22 to 102 RPM, but it consumes almost 40 barrels of oil in an hour, meaning it costs around $35 a minute to keep running. The engine can be configured to power any size of container ships from 6 to 14 cylinders. Its largest 14-cylinder version is 44 feet high, 87 feet long, and weighs over 2,300 tons dry, and produces 107, 390 horsepower. That's about 5,162,934 pounds-feet of torque. Seeing this thing rolling out of the shop on a trailer is a jaw-dropping experience. We hope you enjoyed the video. Which one of these engines did you think was the most awesome? Let us know in the comments. And if you like the video, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.